Let's watch this wholesome direct. Turn it down just a little bit. Da -da 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 -da. I need to get the chat pulled up on my phone so I can't see what anyone's typing right now. And then we'll do state of play after this. I'm just gonna, yeah. Come on. Sounds like Mario music. Whoa, that was kind of cool. I've seen that skateboarding game before. Welcome to the first ever Wholesome Direct, a celebration of wholesome games. I'm Jenny Windham. And I'm Josh Boykin. Sit back and relax as we bring you exclusive footage and announcements from over 50 games. All right. hard being in a new place, but you can't stay inside all day playing video games. I love the colorful diorama world of Button City. Button City? It's a game about a group of friends trying <clears throat> everything they can think of to save their local arcade from being shut down. It's full of hijinks inspired by 90s kids movies, like The Mighty Ducks and The Little Rascals. So you gotta read that fast if you want to read it. Now this isn't live. The state of play will be live though. I can't wait to see what trouble the Fluff Squad gets into when Button City launches this year. Wish list on Steam. Oh, yep. Put it on the wish list on Steam. My name is Felipe Catin, and I'm the lead artist and co-founder of Train Track. Our game is called Errand Boy, and it's a story about the end of the world and how a small creature acts on it. You play as what? An orphan boy looking to make what? a change in himself and find meaning in his last days. We are really excited about the game, and I hope we can share more of this with you soon. Stay safe and keep being wholesome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Follow a small boy with a big heart. Poor little guy. Who helps those in need? That's kind of cool. I'm not going to read all that. I'll read this part. And even maybe save the world. Yes, what did happen here? What was that? It's a bomb. I don't know. Well, maybe it is. Why does it say LT? Left trigger? Because the uh, switch doesn't actually... Wouldn't it be LZ, not LT? I don't know, whatever. Showing Xbox controls? Whoops, uh, I'll move the mouse, sorry. Errand Boy. Get ready for a special delivery right. when Errand Boy I want to see the skateboarding game of 2021. I thought that was already on Switch. I actually forgot about it. I remember, I thought it said Chocobo Land. It's an early access game. I actually don't really know what to expect from this. I thought it'd be fun to stream. Oh, a floppy disk. Got a floppy disk. Mushroom guys did anyway. Oblet Oblets. Have a game store in Xbox One. Right. Oh wait, okay. I'm being a dumb dumb. This is not a Nintendo Direct. This is a presentation from another company, third party, com well, indie company. You know, a third party company. Hey, wholesome games fans. So of course it may not show Switch so write nice controls all the time. Other. Like, take care of yourself. And I know things are hard, but you're not alone. 
a lot of people have taken time to lift each other up. So thanks to Wholesome Games and all the folks who work hard to be nice to each other, Ella the Deer has a milestone chill to beats right and a peek at our new update, available now. It's Bambi. It's Bambi, guys. You've written over one million letters. That's an amazing amount of kindness being shared. As a small thank you, we wanted to give you something. New, a new room. Oh, nice. A new room. You get a frog. Featuring this frog. Oh, I thought they meant another frog. Uh, sea captain. Uh, I thought that was a pig. It's called a round cow and lots more. I thought this that was a Pokemon. I thought that was a squirrel. Oh, cool. Snacko. Looked like he was taking a piss. Snacko stars former big city kitties Momo and Mikan as they start a new life on a seemingly deserted island. Farm, fish, and explore as you unravel the island's mysteries and work to rebuild a community from the ground up. Wholesome Direct viewers are the first to see how you'll raise and befriend these fluffy cows and cuddly chickens. Turn the crops you've grown into livestock feed. But wait, there's more. How, how did I guess I was going to say that? Oh, Kickstarter. Meow. Get ready to say meow low to Snacko next year. Blue Course Studios on our games. We're part of the team making Chicory a colorful tail and also roommates. In Chicory, oh. there's a magic brush with the power to color the world. It's wielded by an amazingly talented artist named Chicory. Until one day, she and all her colors vanish, leaving the world black and white. You play as Chicory's number one fan, who takes up her brush and goes on an adventure to color the world back in and find out what happens to Chicory. So a lot better drawing than I would ever do. You got flower dress? Or a flower dress, I should say. It's supposed to be Clifford. Before he was a giant. It is a different color. <clears throat> oh, Microsoft Paint confirmed for Switch. Nice. That would be actually hilarious. I would I would get that if it came to the Switch. What is that? I don't know what that was. This masterpiece Shikari. isn't finished just yet, so stay tuned Fingy? for release. Fingy? Is it Fingy or Fingy? Oh. Le Café? Louis, my boy, what's wrong? Uh, is it Louis or Louis? Bad Montia. Ooh. I'm going to the last of La Vie et Le Moi. The Life and the, the Lover? I'm sorry, I don't know anything. Isn't that a uh, Sir in French, I believe? Oh, he plays a rat. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Ratatouille. Yes, this is Ratatouille. Ratatouille 2, the game. The game, the movie, the game. Do you hear them, little mouse? We still have more people to help tonight. I'm very sorry. I'm truly sorry. Uh, I said I wasn't going to read all this. No time to come with me. In the spirit and the I'm mouse, you anyway. play as Lila, a Lila. small mouse that's full of Lila courage. Or Lila. After a fateful encounter with a mysterious spirit, Lila resolves to help troubled spirit villagers the, the best she can. The spirit and the mouse squeaks out next year. If you give a mouse a cookie. So, Josh, oh. what makes a game wholesome anyway? Great question, Jenny. A lot of people oh. think wholesome games are just cute and colorful, but there's so much more than that. Wholesome games let players express Actually, love and good. compassion. Obviously, not everything Sometimes is they're perfect. Sometimes they're lighthearted, you know, but make no but... mistake, wholesome games can oh, tackle even the heaviest subjects. Yeah, obviously, I shouldn't say perfect, but... I'm not, gonna, I'm not really going to play all of this, but I mean, they still look Spirit interesting. Spirit Fair oh. is a cozy management game about dying. Giant, giant turtle? As fairy That's... master to the deceased, you'll build a boat to explore the world. The 
attack monsters. Care for your spirit, friends. And guide them across mystical seas. Before releasing them into the afterlife. Spiritfarer set sail later this year. Some scriptive presents. Start with tragedy. Oh, this feels cool. That's how the dinosaurs died. What's that? Forced to leave a dying world, their adventure begins with pain and loneliness in an unfamiliar and beautiful world. With an uncertain path and untold challenges ahead, they found that helping others was repaid with the joys of friendship. This looks like some Ready Pixar DreamWorks animation or something. In this uncharted wilderness. Not everything will be as friendly as it looks. This is Seiri? only the beginning of Seiri's journey. Oh, Discord. Hi, I'm Farah, and I'm the producer on Mondo Museum. It's a building simulator where you can design and curate the museum of your dreams. I like how they move the subtitles with the bubble. For the exhibitions you can make, and we hope we can remind you of happy times at museums. Do you have what it takes to design and curate the world's greatest museum? <clears throat> Excuse me. Fill your exhibit halls with extraordinary artifacts, hire staff to keep things running smoothly, and do everything you can to expand your visitors' horizons and blow their this minds museum. in Mondo Museum. They're gonna come alive, come this to life at night. Opens in early access oh, yep, Night at the Museum, year. the video game. No, there actually was a video game before Night at the Museum. I think the second movie had a video game. I never played it. But... Oh, it's you, my dearest and only friend. Idea. <laughs> Philosophizing. It's time for something wholesome. Oh no. Garden without flowers is a bird without friends. Desperately lonely. Let's fix that. What? Molly want cracker? The fat car is attention. What are that like? Inspired. Is that the name of the game? What if I thought that this is a lovely day? Looks like a, uh, right, go back, go back, go back. The, the kind of looks like a USB port a little bit. It's a flower, but that's all, I thought it was a USB port at first. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Bird alone coming Bird alone quite soon. takes flight later this year. All right. From sunny side up in South Korea comes an adorable life sim called Little Witch in the Woods. You play as Ellie, a witch's apprentice. For the next three years, you'll make potions, study magical creatures, and help the local townspeople in your journey to become a full-fledged witch. What you're seeing here is exclusive to Wholesome Direct. Potion. Oh, this is empty. Yeah, that's, this this is from yesterday. I just forgot to get rid of it. The journey begins next year. Is that gonna burst open if I open it? It's kind of spitting right now, so I'm gonna wait Hi. a little bit. We're something we made, and we're super excited to be a part of the wholesome direct. We're here today to show our game Toem. 
a small adventure game where you take photos and help various communities. Hope you enjoy! Don't forget to take a lot of pictures. In Toem, players follow a small figure through Scandinavian-inspired landscapes to witness a magical phenomenon known as Toem. Five seems to go to the next region. Travel by bus as you visit various locations, each with their own architecture and sights to behold. Listen to calm music, encounter curious characters, and capture each special moment with your camera. Psst. You want a fishing rod? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Favorite sock, can't believe you found it. <clears throat> Pack your bags, because Tolem is ready to depart next year. Greetings from Co-op. This is Winding Worlds, available now on Apple Arcade. You won't find a sweeter, more energetic heroine than Willow. I don't who's know a single person a that uses Apple Arcade. cosmic worm to help her well, friends heal and move everyone on. I ask. Some of them may be uh, prickly they don't use or it. difficult, but that doesn't make them any less wholesome. Because, just like all of us, they're on a journey, and they have a lot to learn. So it's like wholesome, the publisher of all these games. Or like the parent company, I don't know. It's hard to, uh, okay. Yeah, I never heard of wholesome games until like, or wholesome the other day. CGI. Look at the graphics. So th this was live action environments, just animated uh, characters. Toko Toko? Toko Toko, Hako and Friends launches cool. today on iOS and Android. Hi, we're Toge Productions. We're so excited to show you two of our upcoming wholesome games made by awesome, talented people from Mojiken Studio and published by Toge Productions. Before the game features heartwarming stories, beautiful art, and soothing music. We present to you when the past was around and a space for the unbound. Right. From the creator of She and the that Lake Owl. comes the bittersweet tale creepy, of a actually. girl and her lover in a surreal world of disjointed rooms across time and memory. When the Past Was Around is a point-and-click adventure game about love, loss, and all the joy and pain in between. It launches later this year. Get ready to feel when you play A Space for the Unbound from Mojiken Studio. It's a story about overcoming anxiety and depression <coughs> as two high school sweethearts in 1990s Indonesia investigate the supernatural forces threatening their small town. Uncover secrets, dive into people's minds, and overcome the end of the world together when A Space for the Unbound arrives next year. Book of Travels is a serene online multiplayer RPG that focuses on social role-playing, exploration, and non-linear narratives. It's a very calm game. It's full of everyday life situations, but it also has mystery and conflict. <clears throat> Does this 
me. This footage is exclusive to Wholesome Direct. Sheltered, I just now noticed it at the bottom of the screen, towards the bottom. Ready to write your own story when Book of Travels launches this October. Works Hi, everyone. Program. I'm Pico. I'm the lead developer of Garden Story. It's my passion project and has been for about two years. I do all the art, code, game design, and writing for the game. Garden Story is really just everything that I've wanted to see in video games for a while now. Not just mechanically or design-wise, but also culturally and emotionally. And I'm working really hard to make sure that those things come through in the end. And I hope when it comes out, you'll all enjoy it. In Garden Story, you're the newly appointed village guardian. Explore ways to help those around you, traverse and rebuild a broken island, protect its inhabitants, and make friends with a fruity cast of characters. This garden is still being tended to, so keep an eye out for release info. Greetings again from Co-op, this time presenting something a bit on the smaller side. Depanov Nocturne, a short, Atmospheric exploration game by G.P. Lackey about poking around a convenience store to find the perfect game <coughs> for your Excuse girlfriend. Me. What could be more wholesome than that? Depanov Nocturne is part of our new in-house publishing initiative, Co-op Mini, so you can expect even more cute yet complex content from us in the future. You're on a rainy late night quest for a very particular gift. The only problem is you don't know what it is yet. Some coffee, cafe, get some cafe. Finding yeah. a corner store open at this hour must be kismet. The perfect gift is sure to find you. Depener Nocturne is open for business on Steam today. Look how big that cat is. Magical girls, cat cafes, and cuddly animals. Why what is that cat so big? The one outside, anyway. Calico is a slice of life community simulation where you're given one very wholesome responsibility. Rebuild the town's cat cafe <coughs> and fill it with cute and cuddly creatures. That was kind of creepy. The frame rate's not very good. Mm. You can spot Calico on PC and consoles this October. Maybe they'll update the frame rate. I'm, I'm Michael P. As someone with a lot of anxiety, wholesome games are uh, extremely useful in unwinding and just having a little sigh of relief after a long day that's got a different kind of comfort that no other medium can really replicate properly what is this untitled goose Rainy game two season is the story of an ordinary family spending time at home during a storm 
listen to the rain, spend time with your family, and see for yourself how an ordinary day can lead to extraordinary moments. Oh, who's that? Yes, yeah, not. Who are you? I'm not here to make trouble or anything. You don't have to be scared. What are you doing? I was watching TV. Were you here this whole time? Yeah. Is there anything I could do for you? Are you a bad ghost? No, I'm not going to do anything. When I do bad things, Grandma always says she'll call the monsters. If you're here, then does that mean I'm a bad kid? What the hell is he saying? <laughs> you don't seem so bad. Yes, yes, it seems like I was in the wrong house. Let's talk I mean, Farewell. The forecast is still unclear, but look for rainy season on Steam this summer. Look at the kanji. They use kanji both Chinese and Japanese, so... Wayward Strand is a heartfelt oh. interactive story told in a very I curious a way. Game, but... Which? Oh, yes, that's me and the family. Your sons. Yes. Oh, Clock in the count. Oh, yeah. okay, so that's the current time. Well, well, there's the top right. It's set in an airborne hospital. Past. Doctors and patients yes. move about the ship on their own schedule. Quit talking. Left there. He's like I call. This like year. I need to quit and talking. There's Thomas on the right. Who would have turned 60 this year? Rest his soul. Oh, I'm sorry. So oh, not at all, dear. Good day, Mrs. Vaughan. Hello, Joe. All good in here? As ever. Any unusual pains? Any issues with your knee this morning? Oh, it's a bit stiff, but it isn't causing me trouble. Ask questions, oh, uncover the airship's mysteries, oh, and explore the lives of its See inhabitants you. when Wayward Strand takes to the sky later this year. Right. It's almost time to say goodbye, but before we go, we'd like to share even more of the wonderful, wholesome games coming your way this year and beyond. I thought she was going to say the wonderful 101. Meteor Shower, Hey We. That comes up next year. Those are not chocobos. Tracks of Thought. Gotta wait two years for that game. Milan Journey 2. Weaving Tides. Oh, that's cool. My dear child, this time. Oh. Fold apart now. Oh, is it available now? Is that what it means? What is this game? Oh, Skate Bird. Looks actually pretty cool. Haven. That's cool. I don't know if they showed a single Switch game off, with the exception of the bird game. Did they? I don't know. Track Sci Fi Pack DLC. Frog Song. Player daters. Clousy. Fix that a little bit. Okay, there.
Oats and Masters. This is a lot of games. Should be 50 games I'm not really keeping track of. I want to see The Last of Us Part 2. Well, we got a, it's not an indie game, but that'll be still to stay to play. The other side. Battle Cakes and Snack Sites RPG. That's it. That brings us to the end of All our right. program. We hope you found a new game to fall in love with. Please remember to support the amazing developers who made this event possible. Just a follow or a wish list can make all the difference. Join us again next year for Wholesome Direct 2021. But until then, here's one last surprise. Oh. Breath of the Wild 2. No, it's not. Squirrel Cat Studio presents. Who's this? I mean, there have been indie. Uh, there was that one crypto night or whatever. Cadence of Hyrule. Yeah, that was a, a, a Nintendo Direct, though. Or, well, it was an Indie Direct showcase, whatever, but still. I do like the music. Make sure you press the, pronounce the A at the end of that. Coming late 2020. Hi, we're 
we're Scrollcast Studio, and we're making Hua. Hua huh? is a side-scrolling adventure platformer where you can explore a world of beautiful hand-painted art, listen to awesome music, and experience a calm and relaxing atmosphere. Hua is in active production, and we'll be coming to the PC Switch. and the Nintendo Switch in late 2020. See you guys real soon! Direct and loving memory of our wholesome friend Stephen Rin Smith. Did he? I assume he died or something. See, they have credits. Nintendo doesn't really put credits. I mean, I guess really don't need credits, but. It's like, love you. <laughs> That's pretty good. The bird game, I want to get. Uh, there's a couple other games that looked interesting. I mean, they all looked fine. Even though I'm not going to play them all, obviously, but I never do. But. So next, we'll switch over to the PlayStation State of Play. Um, yeah, so that was pretty good. And then uh, for the YouTube version. I do want to thank you guys for watching this. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and uh, I want to make sure there's nothing else here. That's about it. Alright, I'll see you guys later.